Hi, I am Dr. Jyotsna Deepak Patel, practicing obstetrician and gynecology since last 25 years in Varsova Kripa Hospital, Andheri West and MIDC Andheri East by the name of Umang Hospital. Today I will be discussing the most common issue that I get in my OPD and that is discharge per vaginum or rather white discharge per vaginum. Now when we talk of white discharge per vaginum, there are a lot of myths about it and the most common myth is that uh, I'll get weak, I lose weight, I am getting backache because of white discharge and it is not normal. Now let me make it very clear that uh, when we talk of white discharge per vaginum, it can be divided into physiological discharge and pathological discharge. When we say physiological discharge, means it's a normal discharge that has been given by nature to women to lubricate the vagina. That is during sexual intercourse, there is a lot of secretions that come out so that there is no friction. Now this kind of discharge, which is a physiological discharge, it is white in color, it is mucoid, it doesn't have any foul smell and does not give you any itching. These are the criteria where you can make out that it's a physiological discharge, it's not a pathological discharge. Now when we say pathological, that means this discharge becomes thick like curd at times, especially if it's a candidial infection or a monelial infection. It gives you a lot of itching, unbearable itching down. At times it will have foul smell. Now thick discharge with foul smell with lot of itching is most likely fungal infection or monelial infection. The other discharge that can happen is due to mixed infection. Now when we say mixed infection, this discharge could be liquidy, little yellowish in color, again giving you a lot of burning down and itching down and uh, this is a mixed kind of infection. So it is a combination of probably candid infection and other bacterial organisms. Now these two infections, candid infection and bacterial infection or mixed infection requires treatment. Otherwise, if it's a physiological discharge, which I find in my practice 80% of the people have normal white discharge but because of the myths surrounding it they come running, they want treatment because there are a lot of myths about it. Now uh, when it comes to the treatment of uh, white discharge, if it's a monelial infection, we treat the patient by giving uh, antifungal vaginal pessaries, oral antifungal tablets and antifungal local cream application. Now this mind you also needs to be given to the partner. If you are not treating the partner and only treating one partner, then it can get sexually transmitted and the patient can come repeatedly with vaginal infection. If it's a mixed kind of infection, we do add uh, antibiotics, uh, local vaginal pessaries, combination of antibiotic with antifungal pessary and uh, sometimes oral antibiotic and oral antifungal tablets. How to prevent this infection? Now, patients ask me, what is, how can I prevent this? Now, prevention is usually, whenever you, we commonly see this uh, infection postmenstrual. That means, whenever there is a lot of moisture collection down, this gives rise to vaginal infection. So, during your periods, you need to wear cotton pads, you need to wear cotton panties, change your pads often, at least every three to four hours, change your panties twice, wear loose clothes, not tight clothes and uh, this would definitely prevent uh, fungal infection or any kind of infection in the vagina. Also, uh, when the patient keeps coming to us repeatedly with vaginal infections, we like to look at patient's blood sugar levels, especially if the woman is in the category of 40s and 50s. So it could be just the beginning of diabetes which presents as a repeated fungal infection. So I hope I have cleared uh, most of the doubts about white discharge per vaginum. If you have any queries or any this kind of uh, issues, please contact your local gynecologist. Thank you.